Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I have found one open source cursor alternative and its name is Void AI Code Editor. So it is an AI agent that you can use on your code base and you can use a checkpoint and visualize changes and many other things. So in this video, I will show you that how to do the setup with this Void. Here you see this is the official website link I have given in description. Go there and uh, here if you scroll down then you will find this download void option click on it and after that here you see download for mac download for windows and for linux if you scroll down so they have written here for linux users download void here so if you go to this link then there you will find all of this dot uh, gz file and also this uh, amd and dot dp file now after download the installation procedure is very simple you have to just do next 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 and it will be installed and here you see this is the interface welcome to void click on this get started and here you will find many options like free paid local and cloud and other so under this free there is the option to add the gemini api key and open router api key under this paid here you see that uh, option to add the anthropic open api and uh, this deep seek now here many of you can ask me that how is it cursor alternative because inside cursor we have a built-in models in that drop down model selection we have a cloud 3.7 sonnet and other open ai models that is a built-in model inside the cursor but here in this void we are giving our own api key own open router api key own gemini api key then how is it cursor alternative see then I will tell you that uh, you don't know how cursor actually works. So cursor actually help us without manually copy pasting. We can solve the problem inside our code. Remember this thing without manually copy pasting. We can solve any problem inside our code. That's why cursor or one serve this, this kind of AI code editor is actually there in the market. Without cursor or without wind serve, what you have to do? You have to manually copy the code lines and paste it inside the chat GPT or that cloud or any other uh, AI coder or that LLM models are available. Okay, like Quen is there. You have to manually copy the code lines and paste it there. And in that case, the problem is that uh, many models doesn't have the long context window. So in your code base, if you have uh, like uh, thousands of line, 10,000 lines in that case, in that case, how will you uh, copy that lines and paste it inside that uh, web interfaces of that chat GPT or cloud or that Gemini? It is not possible, right? So that's why this type of AI code editor is there in the market and uh, this void is actually cursor alternative. It is an one serve alternative. How? Because it is actually serving the purpose of AI code editor. So I hope you got the point that uh, why this void is actually uh, cursor alternative. And here you see that you have many advantages like you can use the Gemini models. You can use any open router models. And uh, for this pet, uh, you can use this anthropic you can use this open ai models you can use the deep seek okay but inside the cursor if you want to use the this this kind of variation like uh, for the planning purpose you want to use the cloud 3.7 sonnet but for the coding purpose you want to use the deep seek r1 but uh, in cursor there is no built-in deep seek r1 then how will you use that you have to manually uh, do the setup for that okay but here the setup is completely easy and you can uh, use the paid model you can use the free model together okay so both advantage you will get and also you can use the olama means the local uh, models okay so now if i click on this free and here i want to add the gemini models so for that i will go to this ai studio.google.com and uh, go to this get api key and uh, here click on this create api key and you will find one pop-up and there select any project and after that click on this create api key in the existing project and you will find this kind of api key let me show you 
so this is my api key copy it and go to this void and paste it here and uh, also let me paste my open router api key so go to this open router api key this is the link i have given in description click on this create api key okay and here give a name like void and click on this create and uh, here you see that now it is my api key copy it and paste it here now click on this next and here you see that transfer from vs code transfer from cursor transfer from wind serve so if you have any code base or if you have any settings inside your cursor wind serve or vs code you can import that or you can transfer that from uh, cursor or wind serve vs code to here this void click on this enter the void and here you see this is the interface and um, this is the chat interface on the right hand side and this is the settings option void settings okay and inside is void settings here you see that uh, i have this uh, 5.4 and this deep coder these are the local olama model and this for this open router here you see that these are the models that is available and for this gemini these are the models and for this deep seek and this cork all of these models are available here okay and you can do the setup here also so it is very easy to use interface okay and uh, now on the right hand side you will find this kind of thinking option let me zoom it so that you can see and uh, let me Here you see that there is a uh, agent option so chat option gather means the read files but cannot edit and inside this agent you can edit the file and uh, uses the tools means the coding agent and here all the models are available from all the providers and you can use any of them okay and also here you see that summarize my code base how do types work in rust you can actually uh, ask many questions here and it is actually a fork of vs code uh, but uh, in in case of vs code if you want to use this kind of agent capability then you have to use the github copilot right but uh, there is also a limit so uh, if you want don't want to but there is also a limit and you have to do the setup but if you don't want to go for that complex setup and uh, if you want unlimited use then you can go for this void this is actually really an alternative to wind serve cursor or vs code so and uh, the rest of the things are actually similar like you can open any folder and inside that you can do the code okay and here you can uh, add the rate you can mention files or folder and you can do the chat this is very easy okay so i hope this video is helpful for you guys if you found helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and you please try it on your own in your machine and let me know uh, your experience in the comment section see you guys in the next video bye bye